Good afternoon, my name is James White. I am a minister, a author, and a professor. In April of 1945, American forces were moving into the heart of Germany, and they freed a city called Weimar. It's a beautiful little city. Right up on the hill outside of Weimar was a very large camp. We know it today as the Buchenwald concentration camp. What they found there has become the stuff of legend. It wasn't as large as Auschwitz, it wasn't as large as Dachau. But, for example, the camp superintendent's wife, she was fascinated by human skin. She had a lampshade made out of human skin. She was fascinated by tattoos. So she would have people killed and have their tattoos preserved. The kind of horrific things that took place in Buchenwald over years so shocked the American leadership that when Dwight D. Eisenhower and General Patton toured the camp, General Patton commanded that the mayor and magistrates and leading citizens of Weimar be forced to tour the camp to see what had been done right under their eyes for many years. Now most of us would say that that was a moral act on the part of the Americans. The question that I have is history looks very much askance at the citizens of Weimar. They did nothing. They said, wir haben nicht gewusst, we didn't know. How could they not know what was going on within plain view up there on the hill? They knew, but they kept their eyes down. They didn't want to see, and so history has treated them very, very poorly. The question I have for us today is, how will history treat us? Because the reality is, within the borders of the city of Phoenix, more innocent children have been killed in as equally gruesome ways than were ever killed in the Buchenwald concentration camp in the entire years that it was in operation. How will history look at us? Will there be a general patent that has to rise from the dead and force us to walk through the abortuaries? But I don't think history is the most important thing. How will the judge of all history look upon us when we stand before him? He knows whether we knew or not. And we live in a day where there's no reason not to know what's going on, not to know the humanity of the preborn child. Will he look upon the donations that we received from Planned Parenthood? Will he see those things? I ask you, please, make the city of Phoenix a sanctuary city for pre-born children. Save us from the infamy and the cowardice of Weimar. Thank you very much.